Welcome to Magellan's tutorial on creating a multiple destination trip. In this tutorial, we will go through the various types of address entries that multiple destination trip can be derived from, and in the process, we'll show you how to create one. Let's start by pressing on the Go To button. This screen is called the Go To menu screen. In this screen, you can choose the various methods for entering a destination, such as a specific address, a point of interest, a previous destination, an address book, your own home address, and if you page down you can choose a city intersection or a city center. We will start with the specific address in this example. Let's press on the address button. In this screen we will enter the city address. These units come equipped with a feature called Smart City Search with Quick Spell. This feature works by using your location as well as cities you've created routes to before to try and figure out the city you are looking for. As you enter characters, you'll notice that some of the letters will be grayed out. This is due to the internal computer eliminating the letters of cities that it has in its memory based on the characters you've already selected. However, for more precise routing, we suggest you use the location zip code to identify the city. Let's press on the zip code button. Now enter the zip code by pressing on the numbers that appear on your keypad. When you're finished entering the zip code, press on the green box that's located on the bottom right hand corner of the display. If the zip code covers more than one city, then this screen will be displayed. In this screen, select the city in which your destination is located in. Now we will enter the street name by using the characters on the keypad. If you aren't sure of the full spelling of the street name, press on the green box on the lower right-hand corner of the display to populate a list of cities or street names generated using the current letters you've selected. If a list is generated, it will bring us to this next screen. On this screen, we will select the destination street name. Now we will enter the street address number by using the keypad. You will notice that some of the characters are grayed out because the system memory will only allow you to enter the street numbers that are available on that street. Once we are done entering the street address, we will press on the green box located in the lower right hand corner of the screen. This will take us to the routing screen. On the screen you can either start routing to only this address by pressing on the go button or add additional stops to the routing list. Let's go ahead and add another destination to this trip by pressing on the Add Destination button. This button is located on the left hand side of the screen with the green plus sign in front of it. By pressing the Add Destination button, it will take us back to the Go To menu screen. For our next destination, we will add it from the Points of Interest category. Let's press on the Point of Interest button. On the screen, you can search the Points of Interest by category, by name, or by AAA categories. Let's press on the Search by Category button. For this example, we'll be looking for a restaurant for our next destination. So let's press on the Restaurants category. Each search category is broken down to subcategories. In this case, we'll press the American subcategory. Now a restaurant list is generated based on the type of cuisine you chose. In this example, let's go ahead and select Applebee's. You can search for the POI you selected near your current position, near a specific city, or near a specific address. Let's go ahead and select near current position. This will generate a list of that specific POI based on the distance to your current position. We will be selecting the Applebee's that is two miles away as our next destination. This next screen is a multiple destination list. It lists all the current destinations you've selected on your route. On this screen, you can add another destination by pressing the Add button located on the bottom of the screen. Let's press on that Add button and add another destination. Now we're back on the Go To menu screen. Let's page down to select a city center for our next destination. Now let's enter a city name. The database will generate a list of cities based on what you've spelled. Choose the appropriate city location. We are now back on the multiple destination list and there are several options to choose from here. You can press on the optimize button to have the system optimize your route starting with the closest destination and ending with the furthest. You can manually adjust the order of the destinations by pressing and holding down the finger on the destination line and dragging it either up or down depending on which order you'd like to see it in. Once you have it in the order you want it in, take your finger off the screen 
and it will be placed in that position. You can also remove a specific destination from the list by selecting it and then pressing on the remove button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Let's go ahead and optimize this trip. Let's press on the optimize button to see how the system arranges the destinations. Now that we've optimized our trip, let's press on the green box located on the lower right hand corner of the screen. Now we're on the routing screen, let's go ahead and press go to begin routing on our trip. Have a safe trip.